And Pakistan need 128 to win this KFC 2020 international. Jason Marker, the chief marketing officer of KFC, is alongside me. Before we bowl the ball, tell us about this initiative with the clubs, because there's five grand per club going around, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, we do quite a lot outside of the actual sponsorship. We've given away five grants of $20,000 per club this year. Whoa, that's a serious pace. Just finish off on that, Jason. That's right. So um, $20,000 per club to help people fix up their clubs. 156 kilometres per hour. Well, we love the involvement with you. Classic catches are a golden part of what we do too. KFC Pulse has been fun this summer. Thanks for your support. Pleasure. Thanks very much. OK, we're going to get up to the comedy box and say good evening to James Brayshaw, to Michael Slater and to Ian Healy. Thanks, Mark, and thanks, KFC. There's plenty more to look forward to. This is flat chat cricket. The batsmen are going to be going hard and the wild thing is in. Second ball into the pads of Imran Farat. Almost 160. That is unbelievable slats. That's express. 159 clicks. That's Jeff Thompson. That's Shoa Bakhtar. That's as fast as you see the ball bowl. It's bullet pace and this is what's going to intimidate Pakistan. No one likes facing a cherry going at 160 clicks an hour. It makes anyone feel uncomfortable. If you're an opening batsman, you're trying to get the new ball away. They've got to play their shots, but they're going to feel uncomfortable. Ball three. Play a miss. The eyes go straight up to the screen, and the crowd love it. It's 100 miles an hour. A, a cricket ball does not get bowled faster than that. We might just uh, see very shortly if we can get out to the Australian keeper, Brad Haddon, and ask him what it feels like to be uh, getting 160 clicks slapping into your gloves. Hads, have we got you out there? How quick is this? Oh, mate, hold on to your seats, Australia. I reckon we're about to see the quickest ball ever. Not yet, Slaps. I'll talk to you in a minute. Three slips. Down the leg side. Haddon with his hands full. Moves beautifully. How are they going in, Hads? Um, and I'm, just, I'm just watching the ball real close. I think he's on tonight, the wild thing, so it's going to be good to watch. We don't know where they're going to go, and I'm sure I'm sure the batters have a, <laughs> no idea where it's about to go. Have you checked out where the batsmen are looking at? They will be trying to dodge that screen, so I'm sure you'll be relaying the message to them. <laughs> Hold on, I reckon this is going to be near 160. <laughs> he's talking it up. Imran Farah back into the side for a long time, trying. When it comes quickly at you, it can ricochet quickly away. Is a tree? Maybe four. Well, that's the point here. It's that, that at times, the faster they come, the faster they can go. And as a batsman, that's what you've got to be thinking. I've got to use this pace. Use it to my advantage. If I get an edge on it, there's three slips. There's a keeper behind me, but it's going to take some catching. I'm going to make sure that I'm playing a bigger shot. You can really use pace to your advantage, but if you're intimidated, forget about it. It's a mixed bag so far. Couple of plays and misses, couple of hits, and a four. Into the thigh pad again. The thigh pad has ricocheted to square leg. Slowest ball of the over has been 150 clicks. He's just an entertainer, Sean Tate. I don't care if he can only bowl two or three at this heat. It doesn't matter. It's just what these 60, 70,000 have come to see. He's looking good tonight. He's not blowing. So now they have only been able to bowl him in spells of two overs at times. Some sort of tendonitis problem in the muscles of his body. He's not even sure. He just wants to play. Last ball over one. All up. A wide and a four. First over. The big news of that first over are the speeds underneath what's happened each ball. Sean Tate gets a standing ovation going back to fine leg. 160 k's per hour. And Hills, people watching don't understand how rare that is. That just doesn't happen in cricket. That happens once in a blue moon.